Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 71, end of June. It is freaking hot here. It's supposed to be rainy and gray and all that kind of stuff, and instead it's like melting the grass. I hope it's better weather wherever you are. I understand it's flooding back where I spent an entirely too long time in the middle of my life, so I guess maybe this is better than that. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't with us right here. Going into the agenda, I don't have much. Uh, we'll do triage and we'll do questions and comments. Um, and I expect we'll probably somewhere in the middle of all that talk about Wix 310 because, well, it's out there and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and Bob's around, so we'll do that. Um, speaking of Bob, you ready to go do triage, Bob? Yeah, I was just trying to figure out when I wasn't around. Yeah, well, oh, and by the way, I don't think I said that. These meetings are recorded right now for those people that aren't able to be with us in this time in space. We'll pick them up later in the virtual on the YouTube, or if you prefer, the meeting notes out on the Fire Giant blog. So, triage. Triage. Clicky, clicky, clicky. This actually looks scarier than I think it should be, because I think we're still carrying some bugs that I don't know why we haven't kicked these over yet or whatever. But um, Let's do that, then. Yeah, I think we should. Oh, and suddenly the mouse cursor was here, and now it's gone. Oh. Taunting oh. the Skype gods. I just, I thought, hey, look, it works, and then it didn't. Um, Burn does not natively support same version upgrades. Yeah, I want to change the title on this, because Burn supports it just fine. It's Wix Standard BA that doesn't. That's true. That. Wix Standard BA chooses not to. Well, mm, I, we could change, let's change the title to this. Burn by default does not... Uh, well, <laughs> all right, now I'm leading with where I want to go. So yes. <laughs> uh, I think this is the answer in three because changing it would be broken, would break people in all kinds of different ways. I think in four, and I've been thinking about this a lot since I keep seeing this bug come along, um, I'm thinking that in four we'll change it to both Burn and the Wix tool set I think should do same version upgrades at the same time by default. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because we've been going around and around, and nobody expects the the current behavior. Or the Spanish Inquisition. But I, 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 didn't I, I understand that. it for burn. I'm a little reluctant to, to go there uh, for, for packages. Why? Uh, be, primarily because of the, the three-version field inadequacy. Um, You're saying more people will be surprised or less surprised? Um, I'm saying it's, I don't know, it, it, it's a weird change. Um, I don't know that I'm opposed to it. I just think we have to you know, actually think about it. I'm a little concerned about making it a default that has no that can't be overridden. Um, no, 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 you still be overridden. It's just changing burn. Well, but but it, it can't be overridden except through a BA is the problem. Oh, so you want to make it configurable on the bundle? Well, I, I don't know the right place to do it. I don't know if the right place is in the engine or in a BA. Well, the BA can do it today, so that's not a problem. Agreed. So I, I'm not worried about the BA. I'm truly just saying the default disposition of the burn engine, and I'm going to argue the default position from major upgrade should change to say allowing same version or doing the whole same version upgrades. Okay. Again, my concern for for MSI packages is just it, it's it's something you can already author if you want it that is. behavior. It is. Agreed. I'm all right. So, as always, as I would always say at this point, we're not going to design this feature here. I think we Fair agree point. that changing it in 3x is going to be a breaking change. Um, yeah, we don't want an engine change here. I think the only question is, do we want to what do enable we, via Wix standard VA? Uh, via Wix. Do we ah? So, do we want to expose a feature to allow you to set it in Wix standard VA to set allow same versions? Right. We we I added the option long ago to support not failing, you know, to do to do a no op downgrade. Uh, 
Right. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's unreasonable. Okay. So that could be done in 3.11, adding a feature to Wix standard VA. Yes. So do you want to take this there? Uh, I'm fine leaving it in 3x. I'm not... Okay, then, all right, I'm with you then. So, the the I'm I'm you, all the way around. I think we'll have a discussion about it in four uh, at some point as I get my all my ducks in a row. Um, <laughs> but in three, it could be uh, the feature request is enable Wix standard BA to uh, to do the uh, same version upgrades. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will open a 4x feature then. No, I got to put in 4 -0. No, 4 no, no. It has to be a 4 -0 if we're going to break it. We right. break it in 4 -0, right. So. Or error. Yeah, I mean, sure, we could design as lots of additional switches. I don't. I don't know. If you don't change the version. Yeah, it's it's essentially time timestamp based for it's not even timestamp. It's whichever one you click on last runs. And I was kind of like, that's crazy, but more and more people are like, yeah, but I deleted the old one. The new one is the only one I have, so just do same version upgrades. So, so anyway, but yes, we need okay. to fix the title because the title is wrong. Burn does support them. Always has. You just have right. to have a BA that does it, which Wix standard BA is not one of those BAs that does that. Yep. All right, cool. So after a bit of discussion, I don't remember if we got this last week or not. Yes, so more logs. Yes. Yes, I reviewed the logs and, and determined that what we talked about the last time we talked about this bug on June 20th, apparently, uh, was correct. Um, they want the ability to have bundles show and hide ARP entries based off of which bundle is, which patch bundle is the most recent. Right. And right okay. now, all we have is bundles upgrade each other. Yep. Um, and so, therefore, the uh, lower version goes away. And this issue is requesting, essentially, supersedence for bundles. Right. Which is kind of interesting. Sure. It's interesting in the, here, put this one back. You're now the winner. Has right, all, those, right. all those complications. But your comment at the bottom, sorry, your comment at the bottom is correct. So as design, implement this feature if you're interested in doing that, yada, yada, yada. Um, we should uh, probably put a comment in here that this needs a whip because I think we do need to discuss about Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Go. But look, there's a number. Should someone want to take that whip on? Hey, all right. So, Brix 39R2. Uh, Mr. Cooper. You guys were going around on this pull request. Did you get Oh, uh, yes. Um, yes. So uh, the basics of it, I, I understand. It's, it's essentially centralizing a retry loop, um, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, we, we have retries kind of scattered throughout. So we need uh, more? They were... They were on. Well, they were on. They were on uh, big ticket operations like sure. copy file, move file, um, and John's pull request basically uh, added them to everything. Um, every every I well, I can't say necessarily every I/O, but um, important I/O operations. Um, so yeah, I have I have some questions I'm not entirely sure about. Um, John got back to me uh, after I'd gone to bed, or at least shut down that particular browser window. Um, so I will go back and, and revisit. Uh, again, I think basically it's there. My questions were more about you know do we need to make this change? What is this bias over just a simple retry loop? Cool. So 3.10, definitely not 3.9, or 
Um, at the moment, I'm I'm I don't want to take it in three ten. Okay. The basic change is fine, and I'd consider it, but it, it's it's post RC. Um, so I'm 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 not looking to make that change after RC. It turned a 72 minute build into a 17 minute build. How is it that it retry loops? Multiproc. Oh 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 I see. Sorry, the multiproc. And the problem is we need retries around things because multi. Got it. Sorry. Yeah. Well, Sorry. I mean the, the 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 biggest issue is is that you know this isn't fixing a it's not a bug in Wix that's a problem. It's either well, I guess it could be three things. One, it's team build. One, it's MS build. Or three, it's bugs in project authoring so that project references aren't lined up correctly for MS build. Yeah, or, yeah, if that's fair, John, all of the above. That's also also yeah. possible. Okay. Um, you know, I, I have not witnessed it without team build in the equation. Uh, I certainly, certainly, I've seen it with bad, with bad project ref authoring. Um, that's just you know, the nature of multiproc without all the, the, I guess, plumbing that you need to do to make sure that multiproc is going to work. Um, but John says you can repro it without team build, so. So, all right. So 3.11 then. Or whatever the next release is. Yeah, I think, uh, John, I'll go through the poor, your comments and, and come up with, you know, whatever we're going to do. I think you can go in really, you know, early in the next release. Right. So, isn't that 3.11 as far as we know? Um, yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, so wrong DLL entry on Quiet Custom Action page. Isn't this the fix that came along to make all this code better in 3.10? Yes. All I right. think the problem is it's we don't have versioned documentation. We don't for 3x. So the documentation could be updated to say this and this and this and this. <laughs> this, you know, in this versions and this and those versions, which is annoying. Or we could just go roll forward. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to try to conditionalize every reference. Um, it's hard. But I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to adding like a, you know, if you're using Wix 3.9 R2 or earlier, you should use these instead. Just have, you know, one reference. So I'm, I'm, I'm ambivalent. I don't. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's let's. We have a problem. Let's add regular expressions. Now we have two problems. I don't care. I, I'm I'm fine. Not adding, the regular expressions. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm fine adding. You know, a disclaimer essentially. Yep. We'll do that. All righty then. WCI STAR is compiled as standard omits it. Well, yeah, we should fix that. We could take that. You want to take it in 3.9 or, or sorry, 3.10, 3.9. 3.10 or 3.11. It's a simple fix, a header change, right? Uh, yeah. He's left. You're all <laughs> in hopes. Um, yeah, it's a simple change. I hate saying that. Um... We're going to do another 3.10 build, ultimately, we, we, right? We do have to do another 3.10 build. Um, I was, for for a moment after the RC was released, I was like, maybe we could just reship it. But we have two bugs that require changes that we know about. Okay. Um, and this one is isolated enough. Okay. And I've already so, fixed it, so. Yes, so 3.10 then. I will assign it to myself. Compatibility with Windows Store applications. I expect this is wanting to be able to use DTF in a 
Windows Store application, so making it like a portable assembly. Uh, I say we put this, I mean, we can leave it there. I don't care if someone wants to try to make it do all the things it has to do to be portable. And it's like uh, no real big wins for me, but. I'm not sure the the cab stuff is going to be. I I don't either. I'm I'm not. You know, it, I don't know how much work it is. It could be easier. So or it could be really hard. You could be like, cool, yeah, just rewrite the whole cab API in managed code. It could be that hard, you know, by doing byte streams type things. Um. So how about we resolve this as the whatever we do for meth, and put it out there. I forget, what do we call math now? That's right, suspend. suspend. Thank you, Sean. My brain is full. I'm so toast. So yeah, suspend, put it for play. Yeah, if he really wanted to do the work, I suppose, but yeah. Candle is randomly crashing on different WXS files. Candle's not crashing. Trace log profiler is crashing inside Candle. What is trace log? Wait, Someone's turned on a profiler? Inte that's IntelliTrace, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? 1004, that's Dev10. Dev10 IntelliTrace? Did that exist? Maybe. Could be. But the DLL is crashing inside Candle, and that's not ours. So what have they done? If it's IntelliTrace, that's... are they profiling? Maybe. I have I have no idea. Um well this is not us. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not definitely not a Wix deal though. I have not configured any trace profiling explicitly. 1208. Yeah, so something has. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this. They've done something to get trace log profiler.dll loaded into our process. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Um, so the issue is in his setup, not in Candle itself. We don't use Trace Log Profiler. So let's send this back to them with the, you know, when Candle crashes, it will print out a, uh, it'll catch this exception and print out a uh, call stack. Maybe that can help. Um, they need to give us that information. If that's not even showing up, then they've, they've inserted something into the candle process that's killing it harder. And it's just dead, dead, dead. So yeah. it, it looks like they've got some sort of profiler going on. What is trace law profiler? I don't have a mouse, so this is going to be tricky. Ooh, closer. No, too much. Uh, could just type too it. Much. IntelliTrace. So they have IntelliTrace on, and it's crashing on this machine. Eric is like, there are people who use Bing? Yes. If I search enough with Bing, I get $5 Amazon gift cards. If you'd like help, I'm happy to get you hooked up in that, because it is awesome. It, it funds my, my music habit. I was going to say, what can you buy for $5? Oh. Music. Used music. You can get 98 cent CDs for three ninety nine shipping, and it all's covered in another state, and it all's covered. <laughs> I suppose that works out with three cents to spare too. <laughs> yeah, which unfortunately doesn't add up fast enough. But <laughs> net net, I don't spend any money on music, but I still get new music. I don't, I don't get new stuff, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is IntelliTrace crashing inside our stuff, so somehow they've configured IntelliTrace on our process, and they're, it's killing us. So. They shouldn't do that. 
or there's something inside Wix that's causing IntelliTrace to crash, but we should still get a stack trace. That works. All right. Uh, I want to leave it untriaged. So no, I want back. no. I want it to go away. If it's going to come back, they can reopen it again. Okay. Because this isn't us. That works. All right. Oh, consider to. Oh, so you just open this. All right, fine. We can open this now. Oh, good call. Mr. Triage Team. Um, so let's go ahead and put that in four and it will be discussed. So, questions, comments, things like that. I think we should talk about 310. 310 went out. I haven't seen any complaints or issues with it thus far. Um, I did not grab exact download numbers. Uh, they were non-zero, so that was good. Um, Non zero, that's good. Yeah. So but it's should be going out there, which means we're at R C we know we're taking what, three bugs now, Bob, in three ten? Three yep. In three ten. And they all have fixes or they all have fixes, I think. Um not open. Not with open pull requests. Not with open pull requests, all right. One of them do. The uh well Yes, one uh, kind of does. The other is trivial. It's just the URL format we need to uh, decide look on. at. Yeah. And then the third actually needs to wait until Visual Studio has actually released, which, as Robert is pointing out, has been announced uh, for next month on July 20th. July 20th. Woo! So, unfortunately... Oh, no, that's this month. So the 20th is a Monday... Odd. Um, but I have to wait for that to get the final compiler. Uh, well, sorry. Yes, but also the final uh, uh, .NET 4.6 uh, redistributables. Right, so we can build with them. Yeah. Um, yes. With their hashes and all that good stuff. Exactly. So, so you know, we're probably looking at the typical. We'll do it about a month afterwards, right? Yeah, probably somewhere around there. Yeah, I assume it will take me a couple of days to get everything finalized. Um, and then I do want to put it out for you know, people to look at. There's no holiday in August, is there? No. Sorry. Oh, well. When is Memorial Day? <laughs> Later in September? No, that's Labor Day. Memorial Day is in May. We're kind of late for that. I'm sure we can find a holiday. Yeah, but not close enough to matter. So so probably August then, barring anything weird popping up that we don't know right now. Yeah, I think the first week in August is probably good. It would be about two weeks for people to look at the final. And verify that 4.6 is working. That and the Dev 14, RTM still works, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So... I should have had a slide that said something about Wix 3.10. I probably should put a slide in here for the next few weeks that says Wix 3.10. That just says, Wix 3.10, what is the state of it? And the state of it is reasonable, and it sounds like we have a month and a half before it's done, right? Or a month. A month. Yeah, about a month. A little over a month. Four to six weeks. Say that? Yeah. Sounds like shipping of the, you know, back in the early 2000s. Four to six weeks. Um, and software was physical. Yeah, right. software was physical. Yeah, all that. So, cool. Um, does Wix carry the Windows installer parts of the Windows SDK? No. You get the Windows installer parts from the Windows SDK. You install Wix on top of Visual Studio and you can build whatever you need to build with the Windows Star SDK and ours. Um, 
So that's all I got. Anything else? I think. Did I miss something in all the chatter that was going on over here? Nonsense stuff back and forth? Da -da 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 -da. After this, I think... Yeah, I was just going to say, after this, I think we're going to get some focus on Wix 4. I think we'll maybe, as we start ramping down 3.10, we'll start discussing what 3.11 is, or isn't, as the case may be. Um, how much it is and how much it isn't. Bob, yeah? Or if it's called 3.11. Yeah, oh, you want to call it oh, 3.10.2, 3.10.1, 3.10.2? Well, again, that's that's a discussion um, worth having. What? How much we're going to be doing in... 3x moving forward, which may mean that stabilizing on a 10 like Windows has done is the thing to do. Um, although rumor has it they're going to add features to 3.10 you know, or to Windows 10 over time. So um, yeah, now I now I dislike that decision. <laughs> 3.10 and just land it. Uh, so yeah, I mean we'll we'll talk about that. I don't know. 3.10, 3.11, 3 3.12. 3.11 is kind of good, right? Wasn't there a band? They had some. I don't know. It wasn't really my genre when they were popular. Um, oh, Wix turning up to 11. Yeah, okay, maybe. <laughs> All right. So 311, I expect we'll, we'll find it, and then we'll get to the 40 focus and figure out how we're going to finish that puppy. I don't know what the number of assignment agreements are that are submitted. I don't track them, the total of them. I have to go digging through my mail. I just make sure that the people that submit pull requests have them. Um, we have a lot from a lot of people that never do anything with the Wix tool set, so maybe they just want to go through our GitHub, you know, sign-in process or whatever <laughs> sure. to get this agreement. I don't know. That's fun. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All right. Well, if we don't have anything else, half hour. Hop it here, call it good. Get this thing going on. Yes, yes. Looks good. Maybe. Maybe. All right, thank you, John. That's what I was looking for. I needed a plus one something. Bob wasn't giving me anything on that one. He just wanted to make sure that he didn't he didn't say, you know, goodbye before he got cut off or whatever. I just wanted to, I was waiting for people to type. Yeah, yeah. All right. So on that note, I think we're done. Um I'm going to stop recording, and you guys can all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, or morning, should it be that time zone for you. I don't think anybody's up that early. Not this crew, but you never know. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys uh, next week. Bye. Bye.